Hello everyone, and welcome to an updated tutorial on the Mists of Avalon post the Nightfall update. The Nightfall update came out in i I'm sorry, it's actually more of a patch, not a full update, but the Nightfall patch comes out essentially completing the promises that were made during the Beyond the Veil update when that came out last year. They finally have a vendor now for the use of your Wrestle and Standing. They have a new activity in the Mists of Avalon that, that's a dungeon and they also have treasure caches that are out in the open world that operate similarly to a crystal spider where people must be near the treasure cache in order to see it hence perhaps having the opportunity to fight people on a more equal footing and last but not least there's also the outposts will also have treasure coffers which will be awarded to players who complete the outposts so that should also bring more activity to the outposts probably more pvp but perhaps one of the biggest things that has changed here is this vendor. So we are in the city of Bresselin. We are in the area where you have the portals to the mists, also the portals to the roads. Apparently the roads of Avalon, as of this current uh, stream, have been disabled, but they're going to be re-enabled soon. And essentially this is where the new vendor is, right in the center of this level of the city of Bresselin. Friendly reminder, to get to the city of Bresselin, all you have to do is reach 50,000 Bresselin standing, and then then search for the mists portal inside of the mists and you can tell how much standing you have when you open up your stats and you see here it says Brussels and standing. Now previously to the nightfall patch the previous max was 1 million standing. They have raised this to 1,800,000 and this is important because your standing determines what items you're capable of purchasing from the new vendor in Brussels. Uh, the new vendor's name is Aralia Wayfair and she comes bearing gifts. She has a bunch of different things that you could buy. Note that the currency to purchase these items are your favor and you earn favor from the Conqueror's Challenge. Anytime you earn might, you earn a little bit of favor and that's how much we have right here. We have 89,000 current favor. So if you're wondering how to gain favor and earn might, simply go to your Conqueror's Challenge, click on this uh, information tab and you'll see different ways to earn might and favor. The best way to earn might and favor though in my opinion is the solo miss of avalon especially for solo players obviously that is the best way to earn it at least historically it was prior to this current patch but we will see if it's still a very lucrative way to make favor throughout this video so as we open up the new vendor here in brussel and we see aralia wayfair she has a bunch of different things available she has something known as fairy fire and this particular resource is for crafting uh, certain types of cake I believe there's a new cape in town, and so the fairy fire uh, is going to be used for that. There should be some new faction capes here. So the fairy fire, if you buy that with your favor, you are going to be able to craft an elder's brussel and cape. You would need to buy 10 of these, one actual crest, and then one cape of the tier of, you know, cape you're trying to create. So that's one new thing here that comes with the brussel and standing, is you're able to actually craft new capes. These new capes have new abilities. For instance, the Fey Barrier applies a shield that absorbs up to 723 damage during the next 3 seconds, removes debuffs and grants immunity to debuffs while the shield is active, except for crowd control and damage over time effects. So this is an interesting defensive cape, could be used by tanks, could be used uh, in different ways as well to get rid of debuffs and immunity to debuffs, so hopefully that'll be something new that people will enjoy. In addition, there's other things that you can also craft, which is mounts. They introduce the Mystic Owlet mount that you could purchase via favor and the Elder Mystic Owl mount. These are going to be uh, new mounts that you could raise inside of your personal island using a kennel and it'll it'll ultimately uh, give you a nice new mount to ride. I don't think anyone has one yet because it's going to take a while for this to grow but starting tomorrow you're going to start seeing people riding these things and I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. And last but not least, if you care about uh, avatar rings and you care about, you know, different avatars, this is for you. Uh, you'll be able to, again, use favor, purchase the uh, fairy fire, and then if you have enough standing, I'm assuming this is max at 1.8 million, you get to have the uh, avatar ring of the mists and the avatar wanderer in the mists. 
So these are some nice new additions that you can now feel that there's value in the standing system. The higher your standing, the more things you're able to purchase. Although this is the first day of this update, I would imagine that purchasing Fairy Fire is probably going to be your best bet in terms of how you make the most money out of this. I'm probably just gonna spend my, my stuff there, purchase the Fairy Fire, and I'm gonna list it and see if this becomes anything. I wouldn't recommend doing this until maybe later, until we see exactly what is the most valuable items that are good to sell. But I assume that since this is the highest in terms of the resource that every single cape needs, I believe this will actually be the most wanted. So it also requires, you know, the most in order to craft a cape. And so to summarize, we have a new vendor. It uses favor points. And we also have a new maximum threshold on our wrestling standing from 1 million to 1.8 million. As you go higher, you're able to purchase better options. And now Breslin feels valuable. So here we are at the portal that allows us to go directly into the mists. We could choose non-lethal, lethal, or duo. We're going to be going into the lethal ones and uh, looking to explain everything that has changed since the last update. Now, the build that I'm using is the same build or a variation of the build that you have seen in the Warbow build guide. If you haven't seen the Warbow build guide, please click that link above my head. Uh, you should definitely check it out. I'm deciding to use the Warbow again because it's going to be a very nice, 1vx type of weapon that I could possibly outmaneuver people while in the dungeons or out in the open world. And so I'm looking to play a little bit more defensive here. And so if you'd like to get more information on that build, just simply go to that last YouTube video and you'll see the psychology of using a war bow. Okay, so we got into the mists of Avalon. The first thing that changed, as I mentioned, was outposts. At the end of clearing an outpost, you should be able to now receive a treasure coffer. I believe it's called a coffer it might be called a cache. Uh, we'll talk about the other version of this later. But for our first little view of what is different in the mists prior to this patch, let us go and clear out this particular outpost and we will see exactly what's going on. As we enter the outpost here, we just noticed that there is a cache here, but it says we must complete the objective to unlock that. So currently we are doing the objective of clearing this camp. So yeah, we have to clear this first. We're going to see if we can uh, say hello to my little friend here. Uh oh, he might get away, this little bastard. Wow, okay, shoot. Okay, wait, can I get him actually? There's a chance. All right, we got him. That was unfortunate, he was a noob, but in this scenario, we <laughs> we need to get our beak wet a little bit, you feel me? All right, so we finished the outpost as noted by the check mark and the progress bar here, and now we should be able to open our small cache. Let's see what's inside. Okay, we got about 24K it says worth of loot. Nothing too crazy there, but it is something different. It feels nicer to have at least some sort of reward at the end of these outposts. In addition to that, I gained a certain amount of things for completing it. Uh, let me try to calculate what that was. Okay, so here's what happened. When we completed the outpost, we still gained might and we still gained Bressel and standing. However, we did not gain favor. And so that is one thing that was changed. Favor no longer is granted for clearing these outposts. So that is a little bit of a, a nerf to the favor gain. And when we opened the treasure coffer, we gained a good chunk of fame, but more importantly, a huge amount of wrestling standing. We're talking about like 8,000 or so. So yeah, there was a big chunk of wrestling standing that was given. But one thing that is new here, favor is no longer granted or doing the outpost, neither by completing it nor uh, opening the, the treasure cash. So what hasn't changed from the previous update is the gathering opportunity in the mists. The mists are uniquely situated as a nice place for solo gatherers simply because every single resource type can be gathered here. As we see across the top of my screen, every resource is highlighted, meaning that no matter what tool you bring, you will find use for it and it could allow you to also earn some income.
income while you do so. Now, the other part of the mist that you need to know is that there are different rarities that bring you to different tier zones the higher the rarity you go. So the same applies from the last patch. You can either go into a common T6. They are always T6 maps, the common ones. The uncommon have a chance to be T6 or T7. The rare have a chance to be T6, T7, or T8. The epic are always T7 or T8. And the legendary are always tier 8 maps. So if you are a higher level gatherer and you really, really want to start getting into those TA maps, pretty much you're going to be waiting until the last minute searching for a wisp of a different rarity right when that timer starts when there's five minutes left in the mist. So you're just going to be searching around looking for rare wisps to hopefully get you to a higher tier zone and then help you level up your gathering there. But once again, nothing has changed from last patch to this patch. It still remains a great place to gather, even for fishing it's huge a lot of people are doing very well out here fishing and so consider this a place for literally every resource to continue on our theme of gathering as well, another point of interest that pops in the mists is the open world resource nodes. Uh, these nodes show up across the map. Everybody can see them from wherever they are. And they have a larger node of 30 ticks that allows you to gather the node 30 times, resulting in a large quantity of resources gathered. So that's just another thing to be happy for. If you're a gatherer, you can always find some of these. Bear in mind that because everybody sees them, it's going to be potentially dangerous for you because others may be there trying to either take it or kill people who are trying to take that note. So be very careful. Other than that, enjoy gathering to your heart's content. It appears that we have just come across a common treasure coffer. These are those new chests that came with the Nightfall patch that only appear on the map if you are close to them. Now, as we could see, this common treasure coffer is empty. So we got debated, but normally it would have a timer that would actually trickle down just like a normal open world chest would. The only difference is only people around the treasure coffer will be able to see it. It is not a global objective. But uh, yeah, if we got here sooner, we may have gotten that coffer. Another point of interest that we can see here is the Turbulent Mists. The Turbulent Mists, from a order of operations perspective, have not changed. You still have to escort a Wisp to a designated location. Only the bearer of the Wisp can see where that location is. The trick is, though, they cannot mount up while carrying the Wisp. Hence, is a little bit riskier to try to secure this, especially since these are global and everyone can see them. As we can see, we have somebody here already with an 8.3 set. I am going to see if we can sneak this, because they're fighting elsewhere, apparently. What the heck is going on? Oh shit, that guy got totally destroyed. All right, we're, we're out. But yeah, it pretty much it's a wisp. It'll pop there. He's going to click on it. Now he's escorting it. He's unable to actually mount up here, but only he can see the destination. We don't see where he's going to, to drop that thing off. That is the only way to do it. So that is another point of interest. Now, what has changed with this though, is I believe they've decreased the rewards. You are not getting as much might or favor for doing the turbulent missing anymore and this was similar to the outpost where you're not gaining favor this was to balance out the addition of the new activities from the treasure caches in the outpost to the open world treasure coffers and finally to the new dungeon of the mists so even though these are still good to do there's a lot of pvp action around them if that's what you're looking for and they are still good to do you'll get some favor for sure it is just not as good as it's gonna as it used to be and that's simply because they needed to balance everything out across the new stuff they added so that it wasn't just completely additive but more so spread out among the different objectives. Another activity that people who may not have a lot of Brestle and Standing may want to engage in, especially if you're not maxed, is freeing the wisps in the cages that you find throughout the Mists of Avalon. We also have found the entrance to the new uh, dungeon as well, so we'll do that in a moment, but that's what you will see if you're nearby the Nightfall Abbey. You have to be near it for it to show up on the map, and we'll go in there shortly. It closes in 25 seconds. Okay, so you know what? More of the story. You kill these really quick. You get this. It's going to give you Bressel and Standing. And apparently the entrances to these places do close. So let's see if we're going to make it in time. If not, no worries. But uh, at least we'll see what's happening here. Oh, 
no, it just closed in time. Okay, so there is a timer on these that unfortunately they will close if you don't do it enough. So although I showed you the Bresselin Wisp there, how you can actually get good Bresselin standing, uh, we unfortunately missed the Nightfall Abbey, but we will definitely go there again. So just to clarify, the best time to search for Wisps if you want to move on to the next mist is during the last five minutes of the current mist that you're in. During the last five minutes, all of the different Wisps will fall from the trees, hence providing you with an abundance of different choices. As you search around, you may be patient and find different rarities. But I wanted to clarify that the best time to search for this is absolutely when there's five minutes left. Uh, you can get lucky and find one sooner, but that's one thing that is good to know. Okay, we immediately spawn and we see a treasure coffer spawning in a minute. And as you can see, there is a timer. It has not unlocked yet, but only myself and anyone else near this would know that it is here. So let us, let's Let's see if we're alone. It appears that we may be alone. With more objectives like this, there is a higher likelihood now that you might just spawn right on top of an objective. So that's an interesting opportunity. As you can see, the treasure coffers can be different rarities. This one appears to be common, but they can be different rarities. Take that. It looked like I gained Brussels and Standing and Might for opening that up, but I did not get Favor. So that's another uh, point of contention. There is no Favor gain there. So it appears we may have at least capable of escorting one of these turbulent mists here. As you can see on the minimap, only we can see the drop-off location, which is the Weakened Wisp Sanctuary. Escort your Wisp to safety here. So when you're carrying the Wisp, you also are not showing up on the map. But the moment you drop the Wisp, the Wisp shows up on the map. So it's important to understand that, you know, dropping the Wisp is not good unless you have to in order to get away from uh, some sort of certain doom. When you go invisible, casting ambush for instance would make you drop the wisp and things of that nature so trying to mount back up will also make you drop the wisp and okay here we go we might have some trouble here we'll see if these two guys decide to team up on me but we're just going to continue to escort this wisp and see the differences in the rewards so here is the drop off location we have a small channel that can be interrupted so be careful when you're doing it but as you can see, we got about 3,155 might, 1,662 favor. Now that that is a lot less. I remember something like this previously would have given us over 3,000 favor. So it is definitely a nerf to these particular objectives. However, it is still a lot of favor. And we also got Bressel in standing, 5,314. The amount you gain is impacted by the rarity and tier of the mist that you are in. So that one be the totals that you'll see every single time they're all different based on the tier and rarity of the mist you are in so know that higher tier and rarity more favor more might more standing that goes for everything whether it's killing mobs that'll give you more because they're stronger getting the outposts getting the coffers getting the caches all these things are impacted by the tier zone of the mist that you are in epic and rare nice Oh wow, and here's another change that has occurred, which does not have anything to do with the mist, but I'll just mention it here in this video because it just happened. The Bandit event is going on, which is a faction warfare event. Previously, we would only get that notification on our screen if we were physically faction flagged for faction warfare. Now, everyone who is at least enlisted in a faction but not flagged will also gain that notification across their screen. So it's nice to know now that the bandit events might become much larger much more interesting simply because this global notification is now sent to everyone i believe the only re requirement is that you are enlisted in a faction if you haven't joined a faction yet i do not believe you will get that message only those who are enlisted would get it one thing that hasn't changed from the previous patch till now is the amazing PvE that you can get in the mist. While it is not as high as, let's say, a black zone, the mist PvE, especially for the lethal version, is very, very good. That particular pack was not great, but you will see throughout the different areas, there's upgraded mobs that come around, there's bosses, and that's when you make the big bucks. But another thing to do in the mist that hasn't changed, of course, is simply just doing the open world PvE and and when we get into the dungeons, I'm sure that will also be a nice thing to do for PvE fame as well. We'll see if this is a better option here. This one's given us a little bit more. Not what I was hoping for. Let's see what this guy gives us. Okay. All right, I don't care about that guy. He's, uh, he's a gatherer. He still might be a problem, though.
What a little shitter. Uh, you know what? That's fine. Now, one other thing that hasn't changed materially from uh, this patch to the previous version of Albion is the regular small treasure chests that still spawn. Now, they have been toned down slightly, again, to balance out the loot that you'll find in the caches and coffers that you find out throughout the zone. And they also may have a slightly less likelihood of spawning, but they still do spawn and they are global. And so these are also other chests that you can go after. Being global, of course, they have some PvP uh, possibilities, but you never know if you get away with one here and there without any of that. So it's always good to check and see exactly what we have. Wow, okay, this guy is an interesting character. Okay, so luckily we got this for free, it appears. That gave us a decent amount of might. You gained 3,000 favor, is that what that just said? Hold on. For that chest, I got 894 might and 3,000 favor. That can't be right. I mean, if it's right, then those chests have just become one of the more important points of interest out there. But it just doesn't make sense to me that 894 might would equal 3,000 favor. Unless, of course... Okay, my apologies. It did not. So, so I'm sorry. It just so happened that the might that I earned bumped me for my weekly rewards. And so that's why I received the 3,000 right there. So my apologies on that. But so now, if I look again... It only rewarded Might, it did not award Favor. So we just completed the larger Morgana camp here. Let's go see if the coffer is larger or different than the smaller camp that we've already cleared. It does not show you where the coffer is on the map, so you do have to look around for it, but I believe they do appear on every single outpost. There it is. Okay, so it is a different coffer. It looks larger. So it is a common... And so these, uh, sorry, these, these caches do uh, have different rarities. Let's see what happens when we open it. Okay, so this just gave me Tomes of Insight. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't, that didn't seem as good as I thought it was going to be. Let me see if there's more than one. If that was it, that, that was pretty disappointing. I think that was it. I think that was just the, the one. So... You're not always going to get lucky with good loot, obviously, but once in a while you might you might get lucky, and that's a new uh, new addition to the Miss of Avalon. Another objective that hasn't really changed from the last time we uh, had this patch is the Crystal Spiders. Now these are only shown on the map if you're close to them, but it is very important to be careful because a lot of people do like to kill people doing these uh, objectives. There is a individual to the south of me. However, if you play this smart, you should not be taking much, if any, damage. Because this is a predictable uh, predictable uh, scenario here of when he jumps. So if you just put your damage in at the right time, don't get hit by the circles, you're pretty much okay. Uh, is this guy dismounted? He is. Okay. Oh, really? He's a fucking... He's a sickle user now? That sucks. These guys can now kite really, really good. You know what? I actually might need to do this against him. Probably this. Alright, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna be... I gotta be really, really careful here, though. Let's try this again. Oh, shit. Yeah, no thank you. Well, either way, we did see that uh, the Crystal Spider was on the map. Unfortunately, we had some higher tier people there, so we could not uh, secure it. But that uh, that has uh, not materially changed from uh, last patch. It still shows up. Ooh, okay, I see a uh, crystal spider on the map. We got it. Still a lot of EXP, 300k. Yeah, Crystal Spider is definitely still worth doing. They have a 40% bonus over the common too. I think most of it is 160, this is 202. So yeah, Crystal Spiders haven't really changed at all from last patch. Uh, they're still good to do. 
And if you're careful, you should be able to avoid literally all the damage, or most of it. Uh, we did a good job slightly, and then toward the end we got hit a few times, but Crystal Spiders are fairly easy to secure so long as there's not another player nearby. They're doing an update. They're taking the servers down. If you were anywhere in the roads of Avalon, then you're probably screwed up right now. That's why they're taking it down. They had to disable the roads, and then they just, they must have found the fix, so they're taking the game down now. Oh shit, yo, there we go. Okay, we found it, but it's got the server's going down in six minutes. So here is another entrance to the Nightfall Abbey, the new PvE environment uh, with the potential for PvP. Uh, you saw the image on the map there. This is a interesting look. The map here shows multiple different entrances to get back into the mists. And we're just gonna walk it a little bit and see what's inside. There looks to be some sort of end chest or something in there. But as you can see, the, uh, the visuals are quite stunning in here. And uh, I'm just trying to see where the treasure is. I think that's a treasure right there, but I am not sure. Oh, what? Yo, I swear to God, I did it differently. So clearly you cannot mount up in the, in the abbey. This is all a manual walking exercise. And I don't necessarily recommend doing what I just did. I'm getting to half health here, just trying to explore something. Blessing of Compassion. Activates when your health drops below 40%. Heal yourself immediately by 14%. Uh, total amount healed increases for each stack of nightly grace after the first. So they're giving us blessings. So there's areas where there's blessings, and then there's areas where I'm sure there's going to be some sort of loot. It's actually a really nice buff, by the way. And there we go. There's the uh, boss here. Do I want to be... <sighs> risky here and uh just hope no one comes so we can quickly destroy this i think we will let's just let's just do this really quick i want to uh get some loot here if possible before the five minutes is up so this uh, this might give us two different blessings if i'm reading this right So this has not been uh, given yet because I think I have to clear the whole room. Let's see now if these show up. Yep, they're being infused. Okay, one's a chest, one's a blessing. What is this? This is a this is a uh, uncommon chest. 191k loot. Okay, that was not terrible. And then what is this? Blessing of compassion again. So as you go through here, you see different rooms that you can clear, get different blessings. The loot was actually not bad. 200k. It's about 60, 83,000 worth of silver as well. So not a bad piece of loot there. I don't think we'll be able to get this one if in time, but hopefully we might. This definitely looks like more of a chest, I think. And uh, I mean, I do have the blessing of compassion, so I guess I'll start right now. Okay, not a good start. Oh no! Oh boy, we might not be able to. Okay, we did it. Blessing of Justice. Uh, increased movement speed and damage bonus when you get below 40% health. That is interesting. So you could kite better. That's a really good one for a war bow, honestly. So that's that's that pretty much. You you go through, you you fight these mobs, you get different chests. It's actually quite interesting. It seems like there's a lot of different chests and rooms in here that might give you some uh, additional tools to survive. But the Nightfall Abbey is the newest and largest addition to the Nightfall patch, and uh, we're lucky that we caught it right before maintenance. I'm sure there's more mysteries to be solved, but this is a general overview of uh, the Nightfall Abbey dungeon. Cut! <clears throat> Alright. Oh, this one looks like an easy one to get to, but it's, yeah, less than a minute. It's not gonna, we're not gonna be able to do it, I don't think. Maybe. Here's the last one. This is, again, the Blessing of Justice that we just saw. And uh, it looks like, as well, treasure chests are spawning in here, as well, with five-minute timers. That is really interesting. There's also open-world objectives that'll spawn, like a treasure chest. The 
now. What does this guy do? Actually, he might, he hurts. I heard maybe more. Oh, he's screwed. He can't. Got him. Damn. That was a nice, that's nice. Nice mount. Oh, we up, we upgrading. It's also over a million worth of loot. So I gotta, I gotta get out. One of the rare things to find in the mists of Avalon is what is known as a mythical creature. This is the griffin. Uh, they are quite rare, and they carry artifacts that can only be found by killing these mythical creatures. It's the only place in all of Albion where you can get these artifacts as drops. Now, there may still be a process via transmutation where you can randomly roll artifacts, but uh, in this particular instance here, from a mob killing perspective, this is the only place to get these artifacts. If we're lucky, uh, we will live to see the successful, uh, you know, securing of this, but this is quite messy right now and I'm not doing so hot. Right, there we go. Okay, there we go. We just got a few artifacts and a little book as well. So that's another thing that hasn't changed between this patch and Nightfall. Uh, and the previous patch, rather. Can I please find Nightfall Abbey right now? I don't want to keep looking and thank you for that. What a lucky bastard. My name is Black Boa, baby. Yeah, baby girl, let me serve you some of my gravy. All right, anyway, we, we found it just by asking. <gasps> no! What the f- No! Ah! <laughs> no, dude! All right, well, you know, here, tip for the YouTube video. Wait to start typing slash marker in your YouTube video. Just actually go in the damn thing first. Fuck! Oh, I cannot believe that happened, bro. That is so rude and yet so perfect. I deserved it, dude. I deserved it. So, like, the, the dungeons are not as rare, as not as common as you think. That's... Although it kind of sucks you don't find them all the time in a way that could limit the abuse of higher tier gear. But we'll have to see. Oh, wait. A legendary wisp right here? Bro, I didn't realize that the wisps drop in here too. That's insane. Maybe I should just abort and just take it instead of trying to finish this. No, oh, couldn't finish it. Alright, that's okay. We'll go to our legendary. <clears throat> well, that wasn't a bad little run there. You know, we got a legendary. We, we learned a lot actually that wisps. Uh, fall in there, coffers spawn in there, small chests spawn in there, and uh, the whole system of how the uh, buff that you get in there stacks as you complete more and more buffs, as you as you gather more and more buffs. So that's, that's some really cool mechanics. I'm sure we'll be doing a deeper dive on this topic another time, but uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of what you'll expect in Nightfall Abbey. Ooh, okay. It's kind of late, but we found another one. Damn, that was northerly. It's closing in 46 seconds. Damn, dude. It's only going to be like the last five minutes, but fuck it. We're in. Maybe something happens in the last five minutes that is appealing. Actually, you know what? Is it on another timer completely? I feel like this, the miss, the, these things are on a different timer because it's definitely been more than 45 seconds. It said it was closing in 45, yet I don't see the... So maybe the, my conjecture there is not true. It just has a limited time that it shows up. It does not necessarily coincide with uh, the mist that you're in. Not necessarily. Maybe it does, but I, you know... No, I don't think it does, though. To prove that. Well, yeah, because someone said the, the timer is triggered by killing the boss, right? That's, that's how you finish it. This might be the final boss here, and there's a chest to the north, too. Hmm... Question is, do we take care of the boss first, then go to the chest? It has 4 minutes and 15 seconds. I think we can do this. Oh! Damn. This guy actually got me kind of good. Yeah, and I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. I don't know where I'm 
going. Oh, yes. Thank you for this buff, bro. I trapped myself again. I think I'm dead. Yeah, fuck. Ah, that's so stupid. I, uh, that's gonna be something to get used to. The layouts? I was basically just running around blind. That's gonna be a pretty big thing to learn. Hi guys, Black Bolo here. Thanks so much for watching my latest video. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. I truly appreciate it. Thanks bros, and I'll see you next time.